Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. Uh, today we're going to be going, uh, it's going to be this uh, first video. Uh, so this video actually I'm just going to talk a bunch and I'm going to show you uh, what we need to get started and what this video is about is going to be about you uh, getting your own website on the internet uh, by yourself at home and uh, we're going to do it the right way uh, and so we're going to have redundancy and we're going to make sure that our websites uh, can stay on all the time and uh, we're going to do this with two computers uh, they're going to be together working together so that they're copying each other uh, so you're going to be able to do this at home and run your own websites we're going to get this started from nothing I'm gonna get started from bare metal and we're gonna work all the way uh, we'll make a bunch of series of video here and we'll work all the way down to <clears throat> to uh, installing WordPress and actually having your website live on the internet and uh, so stick with me and uh, watch our series here together and uh, you'll be able to run your own servers or your own websites from home uh, no problem uh, so yes, uh, first thing today that I'd like to talk about is uh, I started, this is actually the third video in a series, uh, so I did make a couple other videos uh, and they're a little old now because I stopped making them and I'm real happy that I stopped making them because I found a much better solution than what I was going with at first. So at first I was going with uh, a Linux thing and as going using what's called HA Lizard and BRBD uh, to do an ISCSI target and to replicate the two hard drives and uh, have some sort of HA failover uh, cluster type thing going on and it was complicated and I didn't understand much because I was brand new and if you're brand new too and I just said a bunch of mumbo jumbo that you didn't understand anything don't worry about it because if you watch this series you'll understand everything by the end uh, or you'll start to understand everything anyways and you'll be able to do this uh, for sure and uh, you can hit me up with questions of course in the comments uh, so how how I, yeah so how I had been doing this which was HA Lizard and uh, I had some troubles with it and uh, and then I, I quit making the last series and uh, I ended up doing something much better and now we're, we're going to be installing Windows Server 2019 together uh, which is brand new of course it's 2019 uh, and you'll be able to get a free copy of it of course and uh, we're going to be able to do this pretty much with any type of computer you can do with it almost a crappy computer from home but it can't be that crappy because uh, there's a few things that your computer needs to be able to do uh, to do the, the Windows replication that we're going to do with our Windows server. Uh, we're going to use Windows servers and we're going to use uh, what's called Windows Storage Space Direct which is actually really new and uh, it came out in uh, the Windows 2016 I think and, uh, but it has been upgraded since then and it works like magic and uh, I will show you actually how it works. I, there's my computer back there. That's my workstation. Uh, <clears throat> I will bring you over there right now actually and I will show you what's going on and my nodes and stuff and how the GUI looks because right now I got my two servers downstairs connected together right now and working in a failover uh, type thing so if one server breaks down the other server can automatically take over and still work and uh, our websites would still be online so we we got redundancy and uh, you got some sort of backup that way uh, you know so you will yeah, I mean you don't have to do it this way but I really recommend you know having two computers uh, copying each other so that you know if one breaks down has some sort of RAM problem or something or some sort of network error or something I don't know and then maybe the next one can just take over automatically for you and maybe just save your day so when we're done with our little system here we're gonna be able to actually bring one computer down and our websites are gonna stay online so and what's 
awesome about this is you'll be able to work on a computer if you need to or the other one and still have your websites like going so if you need to add RAM or if you need to do something because these websites <clears throat> once again going you know you want to keep them online all the time and uh, you don't want them to come down at all and uh, when I say websites I mean uh, also like email servers and stuff like that and uh, all that good stuff uh, <clears throat> we're going to install everything together uh, this is real s some of it's complicated some of it's simple um, this took me a long time to figure out myself because I, 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 what I do for a living is I'm a drywaller I'm no system administrator but uh, I have played with computers for a long time and uh, I do like them and uh, so I will teach you everything that I know uh, and I'm gonna fail a few times here do it throughout this series I will be going back and doing some crappy commands I'm sure and I please Please, if you see something where I messed up or how I could do it better, please let me know. Um, so I'd like to take you over to the computer right now and uh, <clears throat> I will show you <clears throat> just a GUI and how beautiful it is with the, the Windows Systems Administrator software. Uh, it's really great. Uh, let me just take you over there and I can show you our pool and uh, talk talk more about Windows Server. Uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, this whole video today is just going to be a bunch of talking and about our ar architecture and about our environment and uh, what it's going to be in the end and what uh, I think you should do. And uh, our next videos uh, will start going step by step installing things <coughs> and things like that uh, from the ground up all the way to uh, the finish online having your, your website online okay so let's go to the computer <coughs> so yeah here we are at my uh, workstation now uh, sitting down at the computer and I'm gonna show you guys why I think that the uh, Windows server is really cool and uh, why it's better than other things like uh, XCPNG or ESXi pardon me and things like that and uh, why uh, I really like it uh, compared to yeah like what I used to have and here let's open it up anyway so this is the Windows Admin Center right here so we're gonna open that up and that's what you'll be using uh, you can do this from your your computer you know your workstation so here's what it's gonna look like when you open it up here uh, it's gonna have this nice wonderful GUI for you and it's gonna show you a bit of information and it's gonna show you the PC that I'm working on right here and it's gonna show you the two servers that we have that we're gonna set up in a failover uh, configuration in a high availability failover cluster configuration so here's the failover cluster and here's the hyper converged cluster and what that means is that uh, I will click on it right now and what hyper there's a bunch of words that you're gonna learn as, uh, as we're going through this series uh, anyways what hyper uh, converged means is that uh, both servers or if you have more than two servers let's say you have uh, 10 servers all the servers are all put together into uh, what they think is one big computer uh, so all the storage is put all together all the volumes are put all together and uh, it thinks that it's one one big uh, <clears throat> one big computer uh, when it's not but what you can do with the volumes like I'll show you right here is uh, this is the cluster so here's our volumes here's our drive all right so our drives, as you can see, it says that we have four drives, but we don't have four drives. We have two drives in each machine, which I will show you. So our inventory, you see, we got two two drives in server two and two drives in server one. And it's all saying that they're okay, and right now they're being used at 65%. And here's the size of them. They're all equal size. They're all one terabyte drives, <coughs> Western Digitals. <coughs> and, um, but with this pool that we created we have redundancy now because with this main this cluster effect that we have I can turn off one of the nodes turn off the server one and our websites will still be working on the second node it'll automatically switch over they're automatically like copying each other all the time because of the cluster uh, because of the hyperconverged cluster and it's um, so there's the drives anyway so here we have our virtual machines uh, running on the 
on the cluster I'll show you that there's only one and this is where we're gonna have our website so this is all stuff that I, I I will show you how to set all this up but I'm just going I'm just fast forwarding through time right now and showing you what yours is gonna look like in the future so this is what it you know you see uh, your uh, virtual machines uh, how much CPU it's using and mine this one is only a temporary machine it's not using anything it's just it's just on there and then we can click on failover cluster now it'll show us uh, again it'll show us the disk that we have so it shows you that uh, we have cluster groups for our failover cluster uh, the storage fail volumes and then uh, yeah, so there, there's there's the failover cluster, and it's just, there's the storage, and the cluster performance one. So we have two volumes. This is a, a shared volume. <coughs> so it's 1.7 terabytes, and uh, we can click on networks, and I'll show you how your network is being used and stuff, or on or up. Uh, we can see how our networking is being used in this other screen that we're going to look at here. So then in our cluster, it's going to show us our nodes, then which ones are up and stuff. And then uh, when we could go to server manager here, we can actually go right into each of the servers and see a bunch of details about them. So this would be my first server, which is a Ryzen 7. <clears throat> and it's got 16 gigs of RAM. So these are just normal uh, desktop computers that I put into uh, two U cases, uh, which I will show you. <clears throat> And they're downstairs so uh, you can see I have two internet cards and uh, I will I will talk about this more because uh, one of them is actually being used for uh, the cluster traffic uh, as they get copied and stuff for the for the drives <coughs> and uh, it shows you the memory and stuff and then you can click on your devices anyways you can you can control you can control uh, all your server just from here pretty much not everything but you can do lots from here uh, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do so you don't even have to go down and look at your servers all the time you can just create virtual machines from here right from your um, workstation if you need to uh, so yes as you can see it's uh, really nice and it's got lots of uh, nice uh, graphics for you to look at and use and uh, click on and create machines and switches and your servers and everything and you can control everything right from your uh, work PC here which is really nice. So we're going to move on to the next video and in the next video I think we're going to start uh, installing our servers.